Good afternoon, everyone. Hopefully you had a good Halloween. So, my very last quick review video, the very last topic, the most sensitive one, we're talking about money, the good old dollar bill. And, you know, there's a reason why it's the most sensitive thing, because the way society is functioning, you need money to get ahead, to improve yourself. Um, you need money for pretty much everything. You know, I, and depending on where you live in this country um, or your status as to how your job is treating you, I could understand why a lot of people feel as if, as if you're being taxed just to breathe the air, you know. Um, here's the thing with my experience with money is that even though we all use the same dollar bill, we all don't use the dollar bill the same way. Um, you know, people, I'll just have to be blunt about this. Um, you know how they say the money is the root of all evil? Well, money is not the root of all evil, okay? Uh, money is the root for success in this world. Um, it's really the person that roots money into the evil that it becomes. It's not the dollar bill. Um, you know, as a human race, we are a dominant species on this planet. And part of that is to be better or want to be better than another person. And unfortunately, people have used money as a reason why to get away with... And when I say get away with certain things, I don't just mean crimes. I mean moral obligated things that people do that really are not things that you should be doing. Even though you may not necessarily be going to jail for it, um, you are doing things to put others down. Um, to get ahead for yourself, um, so you can have more power. Um, a lot of people, um, and, and, and I just want you, I want to be clear. Um, you know, when I say psychopaths, narcissists, sociopaths, uh, more so those type of people that give in to their bad habits. Um, you know. And also people who taught themselves to be over or insensitive to certain things that could shun you from uh, who can make the final decision so that way they can have something for themselves. And, you know, I think it's no, not joking around when I say, um, when, you know, you, for example, I once saw a TikTok of Zach Levine when he announced how it was to find his uh, to sign his first NBA contract. The moment he signed it, all of a sudden, all these family members and friends that barely got in touch with him start calling him, say, "Hey, remember, I took care of you," and they just wanted the money. Um, there's plenty of people like this. Um, you know, as humans, as a dominant uh, species, we can be predators, but we should also know the moral obligation of treating people with respect and not using each other, you know. So yes, um, let's just say your name is aunt or uncle, Mary or John. Uh, here I am as a 34, let's just say right now I'm 36, my apologies, 36, and I did something where I earned 500K a year, just, okay? Yes, you did babysit me when I was 10 years old. I barely have taught, you only know me through my mom, let's say, or my dad. And let's say, for example, ever since I was 10, I barely been in contact with you. And now you're calling me every day. Um, you know, I think it's no secret that a lot of people go through that. Okay, so, so with that being said, you got to be careful of how people can prey on you. That 
somehow money is the main thing as to what they use to prey on you. Um, and there's other different ways. I've been scammed and screwed over financially by people who I thought I could trust, um, where they use your feelings to allow you to make you feel as if, hey, uh, this person I would, I'm starting to consider giving my life for this person. This is a good, wonderful human being. Once they get the money, uh, that's all they cared about. So you got to watch out for that too. How people would prey on you for those reasons. Um, you know, and that's where good people have to develop, I guess, say, uh, selfish, cold hearts and only look out for themselves. What's called fight fire with fire and fight fire with fire by only looking out for yourself the way it would appear a selfish person would to prevent yourself from being taken advantage of. There are plenty of people that you, unfortunately, you have to do that to. Um, but let me go to another point, you know, more of a political type of way, um, to taking away the people that prey on others and use others uh, and use money as social status. One of the biggest reasons why I see a difference in money um, in this country is population. So there's no jo joke when I say there's a reason why Los Angeles is more expensive than Green Bay, Green Bay, Wisconsin, because you got millions of more people, more people buy price goes up It's as simple as that. Um, and again, without going into too much detail, you know, uh, I think as humans, because we're a dominant species and money is subjugated into our lives the way it is, you know, it's the, the reason why people are very sensitive when it comes to money, because you need money to do things. And as a human race, we not, not so much do things. We want the freedom the actual freedom of knowing that I could do within reason anything I want, I can pay it off, and I don't have to worry about in case something were to happen. Right? Um, for example, who the hell wants to live just to pay the bills? I don't think anyone wants to live that way unless they are they came from a complete shithole life where they were with the worst kind of people. And paying just to live, just to pay the bills, paying for the bills and nothing else to live for. If that's what they need to do to get those, you know, humans out of their hair, they'd be more than happy to take that life. And I'm sure there are people out there who are subjugated to that type of, um, deter let's call it deterrent. Um, but for the most part, people don't want to live to pay the bills. People want to live to pay the bills so they have the ability to live and do elsewhere, like go to the movies go out downtown, buy a nice dress, um, you know, and just my experience as a trucker, when I go to a city, be able to fly in a helicopter, um, you know, pay $500 to test drive a Ferrari. And yes, I actually did those things. Um, and just enjoy life and know that, yeah, you work for it, but you have the freedom to do it. And you don't, you know, you can just actually go out and learn things and be free with yourself, not just thinking your next paycheck, you know. Um, so as was my friend John Rose would say, it's called living paycheck to paycheck is what it's called. You know, and that, well, why do people get to that where they live paycheck to paycheck? Well, here's where I have to say some sensitive things without any detail. So um, for example, if you're, let's say, if, unless you're married and you know you can trust your partner, if you're living just with a boyfriend, for example, if you are, you know, just that, first of all, for a lot of you, don't have children, okay? Until you can guarantee your career is there to stay for you, where even if you switch jobs within the career, the career is still there for you. And make sure you, you can really trust your partner to work with you to financially support the kids, and don't have too many. You know, I was in Houston and my Uber driver had five kids and he says he's barely able to do anything except take care of the kids. Well, if you had three and just banked the money off of the two kids who would not be here, instead of five kids of having, you know, you be able to bank money for yourself. 
And yeah, I'm telling you what to do involving your family, but think about it. If he's able to afford five children, but is barely able to put any money away for himself, if he had three kids living in the same house instead of five, it would have been a little bit easier. You know, a lot of you, when you have children, have to think that way before you start doing things without a condom. But, you know, sometimes I wonder if my body, my choice has gotten a little out of hand for a lot of you. Because a lot of you crave that freedom so much that a lot of you, I dare say, despite some, a lot of you being good people, you, a lot of you are... I dare say irresponsible, and now here you are literally paying for that irresponsibility, okay? So if you're going to have kids, make sure you trust your partner and have kids within reason, okay? All right? So if you can, if you know you can afford five children, um, try aiming for only three and bank the money you would spend on the other two kids, and I know I, I'm talking about children as if they're numbers on a paper, and that's probably insensitive, but that is how it is, okay? Um, also, the increase of population, making things more expensive. You know, as humans, if we were to divide up, and like think of like peanut butter, if we were to spread out and not aim for the big cities, go to the Midwest where there's far less, you know, um, I know that there's less jobs available, okay? Um, I think the way it starts, a lot of us have to aim for foundation um, foundations. For example, for like me, being a truck driver is a foundation of America. Uh, find a job in the Midwest where, you know, it's like, hey, we need this no matter where you are in this world. Otherwise, society doesn't function. Um, become something that, you know, that may not be plan A or B when it comes to a career, but it is something really good. And when you start working for those type of jobs, you know, people will see value into moving into a small city that will create more jobs and the country's uh, population will be a little bit more evenly spread out. Um, you know, so you have a ratio of, hey, you're making good money. You're spending where you are and you're able to put money into your savings and have stability so you don't have to worry about your next paycheck as much. Instead of just cramming yourselves into a big city all the free, well, pretty much close enough to all the freaking time. That's why when I go to the Midwest, yes, it's not as lavish as the coastal cities, not like Miami or LA or New York or Boston. But people there are very, let's just call it chillaxed, where they're chill, where they're relaxed, they're not worried about the next paycheck, especially the ones who, do, who choose not to have children until they trust their partner enough to get married, okay? You know, but the ones who just have kids at 19 years old right away. Those are the ones who are financially burdened a lot, a lot, a lot, you know. Um, so quick review of money. Don't have kids until you get married. Make sure you trust your partner with your life. And, you know, wait until your career improves for yourself, you know until you start doing things. Now that may be easier said than done because again, as humans, we want that freedom all the time, but try to learn some patience, okay? And as always, put yourself around the right people. You may not be rich, but the right people will make you feel rich and will help you with having a good life. So put, put yourself around the right folks. Trust me on that. But yeah, man, I've seen a difference in how money's used more times than I can count, you know. So be cool out there and try your best to make the right decisions.